to all the dispossessed youth of Africa for perpetuation of communion with ancestral spirits through the fight for African freedom and in the firm faith that the dead, the living and the unborn will unite to build the destroyed shrines. Hello and welcome, beloveds, to another episode of Wake Up Africa. My name is Dr. Mumbi Saraki. How are you doing? How's everything going? I really do pray that you are well in all your ways and that you're moving into living life here truly on your own terms. really want to thank you. If you've already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and consider subscribing if you haven't already. And go ahead and consider liking, beloveds, um, so that, you know, we can ride the YouTube algorithm waves uh, at such a time as this. A couple of weeks ago, I did a show where I was talking about how you know this world is run by secrets and how the people who have the secrets are the ones in control either and it goes from the most basic family level to the you know to the national level to the global level those that are in control are in control because they've kept certain knowledge or certain awareness from the masses and this has been going on for ages that's why we have the secret societies and the secret knowledge and um, you know people have to go through all these heavy 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 the initiations to get um, to become privy to part of some of this um, secret knowledge and now you know we've entered the age of we entered the information age the age of Aquarius which is the age of air um, which means that all that was hidden is now coming to light all the secrets that have um, been privy to a, you know a, a elite few can now be known by all and so the this the age of secrets is gone beloveds the secrets, you know, are no longer going to hold the matrix or the patrix, whatever you want to call it. It's no longer going to hold the system up. And that's why we're seeing the system collapse. And that's also why we're seeing the system trying to create as many zombies and robots as possible to help them maintain the system if you get my drift. Um, but now the age of secrets is done, beloveds. If you need to, those who truly seek with a pure intention and an open heart, the information will be revealed to you knock and the door shall be opened ask and it shall be answered you know seek and you shall find like there is there is no barrier now between you and the secrets and the higher you work on yourself which is why i always say make the priority elevating yourself refining yourself you know, um, really g becoming the best version of yourselves because that's when the power reigns supreme, beloveds. And that's when you can ask a question and spirit will reveal to you. And that's the age we're going into, beloveds. There will be no secrets. In order to exist in that level of that, that high level frequency, you'll have to literally be an open book because it will be mainly like telepathy. And, and this isn't like a hundred years off. This is coming sooner than many people recognize, beloveds. But the age of secrets is done. And if you want to know something, it can be revealed. But what the Babylon system is now doing is because they know that the age of secrets is done, they have released so many false truths, half truths, and they've been doing it for years. And if you find, if you look even now, they're continuously doctoring and, you know, tweaking history so that if you, you know, you can go and look at some, you can go and read something uh, two years ago and it will say one thing and then you'll look at it now and it will be like a slightly altered version. And, but the thing is they've bombarded us with so many half truths so that you have to kind of look, uh, you know, it's like looking for a needle in the haystack. They've also created so many epic distractions, beloveds. And they've also created, you know, um, it's the, it, was it the FBI or the CIA that created the conspiracy theorist idea? And it's so crazy because in 2021 most people have started to recognize that those same conspiracy theorists were actually onto something those who are privileged to have awakened to the great experiment that's happening globally but so now that the secret the age of secrecy has has wound up those secrets can no longer uphold the system because those secrets now can be known by all it's not just limited to one or two people beloveds but they're going to make it so hard for you to know the secrets because they've been playing with your mental and acting on your mental for so long while making you think your mental is not important. Let's take a short break. We'll be right back.
Welcome back, beloveds, to Wake Up Africa. My name is Dr. Mumbi Seraki. No more secrets, beloveds. No more secrets. I'm sorry I had to cut that short. I was getting a delivery, but no more secrets. The age of secrecy is gone, which means all those people that have used the power of secrets to control and dominate other people, to control and dominate societies, have all lost their power now. Because anything can be known. Beloveds, we're moving into like um, a totally new era where it will be more about like, you know, everything is an open book. There's nothing to hide because it, it will be a higher frequency than this of wanting to control and manipulate, etc., etc. There's so much else to do than control and manipulate humanity. But if you don't have access to those higher echelons, you can think that Controlling humanity is the highest level. But for so long, secret knowledge and secret wisdom has been used to run the world while they kept most of the world on, you know, religious milk and pushed people into a religious psychosis. And many are still in that religious psychosis. And it's like if you were deep in that religious psychosis, you almost have to, you know, remind yourself daily you have to fight the, the, the tentacles of that thinking. Because how can we clear up what's in our subconscious? It's by seeing the truth. And the truth is the most powerful thing in the universe because it makes you free. It breaks everything down. And as the, there's no more secrets, if you are continuously doing the work and you're elevating yourself spiritually, then you'll start to see people for who they really are, people in your family for who they really are, people in your government and their agendas and what's really going on there. You'll start to see them for who they really are. It just totally shifts. Once you start doing the work, you just start to see everything. It's like you start to see the man behind the eye, the, the curtain. What was that? I can't remember. Is it the Wizard of Oz or something like that? I can't remember which of those fantasies it was, but the world was being controlled by this old Muzungu man behind a curtain. Was it Alison? I can't remember. I know someone told me once, but beloveds, no more secrets. And so because we're now, there's no more secrets. You have to recognize that you've been, you know, there's been, to you've been told so many lies that the truth will seem too fantastical. And you have to now make your mind agile enough to be able to know what is it, what, you know, to be able to accept some of these truths, to be able to accept just how grand the lie has been. But you also have to refine yourself spiritually to the level where you can know what is truth and what is not. Because as I said, because there's no more secrets, they're flooding everything with so much information, you know? They'll give, and especially with this social media, they'll give a complete idiot who has no idea what he's talking about so, so much airtime in his historical discussions. And the ones who speak, you know, and then they'll shadow ban the ones who are speaking the truth. So it's just like there's so much out there. And they will let some truth speakers out, seekers out there as well and speakers. So there's just so much truth and lies. And so you really have to have developed that inner compass where you can tell a truth from a lie. And it just feels, you know, a lie just feels off. It's just like, nah, that's not for me, you know, or the, the vibration. And maybe that just means that it's not truth for you, you know, because I feel like we're so many kingdoms and nations here and they're trying to make it seem like we're all uniform. But maybe I subscribe to a higher mind than you do. Maybe I am from a different thing where my truths look a little different. And that's why it's really now the season of every man for himself, where you have to figure out and know your truth for yourself, especially with this great experiment. Because you see, in the, in the melanated community for so long, the elders were the ones who had the truth and it was non-questionable, et cetera, et cetera. And I think that's how so many elders were able to pull generations into this religious psychosis and into colonialism, the mental colonialism. It's because of that, you know? Because it's like, you never question the elder. The elder is always right. The elder is never wrong. But they were wrong on them, Zungu. They were wrong on his system. And many are wrong on his experiment, too. 
And you will know the truth, but you must seek the truth for yourself. No one can give you that truth. And you see, Babylon has done everything to handicap you. They've even made you used to certain people looking a certain way, being the ones who can tell you the truth. Whereas many of the truth speakers will look like rebels. They won't look like, you know, what you're expecting to see. And so, you know, and, so, and these people of authority, they're the ones who have the secrets and they're, they're spoon feeding you what you need to know. And so we now have to walk in our own spiritual discernment and in our own truth, beloveds. Especially, and I'm so happy with everything that's happened with the lockdown and this pandemic because it's really forcing everyone to kind of do some adulting. Because I know there's a lot of adult children who your parents will say, do this and you'll go take it. But now it's just like, how do you, how do, you do that when you know better? When you know more than them? Because they're still... You know, there's such a there's such a shift in powers, beloveds. Because the old souls are now the young ones. And the new souls are like our parents, beloveds. It's deep. The ancient ones are back. But you can't be an ancient one and an ancestor and be listening to those that you're here, to, those that you've come to save the bloodline. And so we have to get out of these stereotypical thinkings and groupings of our people like listen to your elders you know your mother knows best those kind of things now beloveds and i'm not really trying to separate the separations are already happening but if you don't walk in your truth you'll die in someone else's lie <laughs>